today's lesson, we are going to be looking at how to produce a really broad range of design ideas, avoiding what's referred to by the exam board as design fixation. So making sure we don't just focus on one idea from the outset. To do this, we're going to look at some existing designers' work to inspire us, and we're going to do a drawing a minute for 25 minutes, throwing nothing away, crossing nothing out. You'll see I'm not the world's greatest drawer. In the exam, and against the scheme, it doesn't say your drawings are produced to an exceptional standard. It's about the range of ideas that you explore and the way you communicate your ideas. So we're gonna look at the designers now and then start doing some drawing. Cheers. So both section A and B of the NEA, it asks that you refer to the work of other designers in your design work and take into consideration their work. So an excellent practice designing anyway and a great way of getting started is to have a look at the work of some other designers that can inspire your work. Try not to be too specific, so don't look at architects if you're doing architecture. Look at a broad range of different designers as it will help to give you more abstract design inspiration. So now I've started sketching out. You can see in the corner the uh, designers that I'm working from. Some of my inspiration is very literal, some of it's a bit more abstract. Um, I've got no idea what I'm drawing at the moment. I'm just starting drawing out different shapes and forms. I know I'm doing some kind of storage unit, probably a bedside unit, just because of the scale I'm gonna work in at school. So I'm just gonna keep drawing and let the ideas develop. I start off with drawings that I'm not particularly happy with, but I don't cross anything out. As I keep going, I want to show a really broad range of ideas. The ideas then evolve. As you can see, I'm adding annotations where I've got ideas that I think aren't perfectly uh, put across through the drawing itself. But the complicated ideas are coming through now and I'm starting to get inspired by materials, mechanisms and other ideas. And I'm drawing one picture every minute for 25 minutes. So I hope that's been useful. In total, this is gonna take you probably about an hour and it's gonna produce you a really fantastically broad range of ideas. As long as you just keep going with it and don't think any idea is too bad, too complicated, too simple, too badly drawn, it doesn't matter. We're trying to convey a broad range of ideas and I think you'll find you'll surprise yourself by how inspirational this activity can be in giving you ideas that you didn't realize you had as you just keep drawing and keep drawing with that challenge. You may even want to set yourself a minute timer to make you move on if you're someone who's very particular uh, with your design ideas because it will force you to draw it in a way that's just getting your idea from your head to the page. When you present this work, uh, you're going to want to include the inspirational images and the names of the designers and maybe a brief bit of information about that designer. So consult with your teacher about how they'd like you to do that, but you want to include those pictures to show these ideas have clearly taken inspiration from, from another designer. Uh, there's another video uh, which should be popping up at the bottom here, which I made previously about illustration and drawing techniques, which shows some slightly more advanced ones if you're ready to move on. But I'll be doing another NEA lesson for development drawings in the future. Cheers.